All right, so you've been told to do an FMEA, but you're saying it just takes too long. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to use foundational and families to alleviate that pain point here using AIAG VDA FMEA. All right, folks, welcome to Plexus. So you've been asked to do an FMEA for a new project, but it just takes so long for the development time. This is something that we hear all the time from areas in industry. So the new AIAG VDA FMEA actually lessens the development time. How? Through using foundational and family FMEAs. Now, what's the difference between these two, right? What is a foundational FMEA? Let's say that you're doing a process FMEA. So a process FMEA, there are things in your process like say cutting a hole, right? Boring a hole that are common to every time you bore a hole. So the same failure modes exist. As an example, holes have diameter. So could you be over diameter? Yep. Could you be under diameter? Yep. And because you're running off the same style of machine, do you have common causes such as the bit wearing prematurely, the speed not being correct, the workpiece coming loose? Absolutely. So you could create a foundational FMEA around that boring operation that would encompass all of your failure modes as a place to start. Now, what's the difference between foundation and family? Let's say now that you cut metal material and plastic material. There are failures associated with plastic such as shrinkage caused by heat that you may have in plastic but not in metal. So there may be some unique failure modes to plastic parts versus metal parts. That would be an example of a family. So foundation is the most generic, family is a little more specific, and lastly, you've got your part number specifics in which maybe you took on the requirement to etch a certain part in a certain way for one particular customer. That would be something unique. So the reason that this cuts down development time is because you no longer have to start from a blank slate. You bring out the foundation or the applicable family and you start there and deal in deltas. Now, how does this work with DFMEA? Because I just talked P. There are common design elements in what you do. As an example, let's say that you fasten two pieces together. That fastener in your application, say you're attaching a body panel, say to a frame, is going to be the same whether you're doing frame A or frame B. Its functionality is to attach. So you don't have to start all the way back at square one every time you do an FMEA. You bring out the baselines, you look at the baseline, and you deal in deltas. It's up to each organization how they organize the FMEAs. Take your existing product or process catalog, figure out how you would like to index it from the foundational and family side, and if you do that, that will cut down your development time substantially because you won't be reinventing the wheel every time you get a new product. All right, on behalf of Plexus, thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next one.